This is my favourite event. I say that every single year. You can see, got the T-shirt on. Fossil fuels are dead. Protein and calories is good for building a strong body. Take Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example. I'm sure he's eaten a fair few protein bars in his time. But have you thought about his sperm? And since starting my PhD, I'm definitely not getting enough sleep. So I had to repeat the same task again and again until the volume was appropriate to keep my neighbors happy. So this is really celebrating the breadth of research that we do at UNSW. So the question is, what is a bubble column? Is a column with bubbles. <laughs> do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. Do you trust your insurance company? <laughs> so, in this analogy of my work, I'm hoping you'll consider Theon Peanut to be Australian universities, and as the provider of most of their resources and rules, I'm the government. The quality was quite extraordinary. The complexity of the ideas rendered in those short blocks with imagination, with great clarity of language, in cohesive blocks put together into ideas that we could understand. In third place, we've got Bradley Hastings. Great clarity in Bradley's presentation. He was smooth. We liked the way his ideas were uncluttered. It gets a little bit wobbly. That's okay, because there's an army of consultants or advisors that can come in. In second place, if you'd all like to close your eyes, it's Georgina Wood. Georgina was the one performer this evening who used, uh, we think that her use of an activity was the standout in her presentation. I want everyone to close their eyes. Now imagine that you're in a vast forest. You're at the base of a large tree. You look up and see branches rustling in the canopy. You look a little closer, you see creatures with 10 legs or three hearts, beaks, suckers, fluorescent colors, and some have just one foot. The clear winner, and it's always good when there's a clear winner, but the clear winner is mofo man John Berengut. Can we tell you, John, how much we loved what you did? As you all know who saw John, it was an, an extremely engaging presentation. He dominated the stage. He connected with every single person in the room. He took a complex subject and he rendered it comprehensible. There's a bit in the most recent Avengers movie where uh, Robert Downey Jr. is kind of gearing up for battle and he taps this panel on his chest and a billion tiny robots come out and assemble themselves into an Iron Man suit around his body. Now, that's a very Hollywood version of what nanotechnology is, but it might not be as far-fetched as you think. The winning piece was very was my favourite because it was very simple for everyone to understand and the way he was able to explain it to us, it made it seem like it was a story. It was very engaging. I'm really intrigued about the university life and I'm graduating soon so I want to understand and gain a better grasp of university and the different things that are studied and can be explored and the different like areas where I can like expand my knowledge. Winning the trifecta is great, but it's also a little bit embarrassing. I wish, uh, I wish there was uh, more of the prizes got spread around the other contestants. Don't try to say your whole thesis in three minutes. Doesn't work. Just pick one little story and tell that little story in three minutes. A big thank you from us, the judges. You have given us reason to believe in the great future of Australian minds. Thank you.